Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Before we jump into this, I want to wish a very happy book birthday to the book we're going to be reviewing today, and that is The Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons. Uh, my friend Amina uh, told me to read this one. She hit me up on Twitter and said, E, you got to check this one out. Uh, creep the hell out of me. And then uh, she put me in contact with Turner Publishing um, and the author, Matthew Lyons, um, and they sent me a book. So this one, ah, th this one right off the bat is, is turbocharged from the beginning. The very first scene draws you in, and then there's I think there's two two chapters before things really kick off. Um, less than I, I don't I don't know. I want to say less than twenty pages, but that could be wrong. Um, I want to say, yeah, yeah, chapter 2 starts at page 23? Is that what I saw? I don't know. Hang on, let me check for sure. No, uh, chapter 2 starts at page 21, and it is a race to the finish from that point. The pacing in this book is fantastic. What are the three things that I look for in horror? If you're a fan of the channel, you know it's dread, it's pacing, and it's really well-drawn characters. Those three things have to be in a horror story for me to pay attention whatsoever. So right off the jump, the pacing was on point. Next, the characters. You guys know how bad I am with character names, but I can t I tell you right now, all of these characters. There's Adam, there's Chloe, there's Josh, there's Nate, there's Nikki, and there's Parker. I'm pretty sure that was in alphabetical order too, so yay me. Anyways, um, the, these six characters, uh, it, it everything kind of happens at once. This book took me off guard with the uh, with where it went to because I'm thinking, okay, he's trying to build tension with these characters and show that um, we're gonna have maybe a the thing kind of thing or the anxiety and the paranoia or whatever you know who's who's who who's the killer that kind of thing because I didn't read the back of the book. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't want you to read the back of the book either. The description actually has a spoiler. I feel it's a spoiler. Um, the description actually has a spoiler in it. Uh, so stay away from the description. Go into this book completely blind. The whole reason I read this was because Amina said it was it was fantastic. Uh, she was not wrong <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, so the second one is the characters. I knew every... It's six characters in a very short period of time. In the very first chapter, I could tell the difference between each and every character. Uh, that alone is impressive. But to then throw them in the situation that you that that you have that quickly and continue the character development off to the side in the background so that you get to know these characters. You may not like them, but <laughs> to get to know these characters off to the side, I love that kind of character development, the not overt uh, character development. Now, with uh, going back to you may not you might not like them. Uh, this is almost like a Scott Smith's The Ruins kind of vibe. The books have nothing to do with each other. Um, this isn't the forest coming alive to, to well, I, I don't, I don't want to give any, I don't want to give any spoilers, um, but uh, <laughs> I don't, also don't want to get anything wrong, so let, let me stop there. But uh, th this, this isn't about, uh, this isn't about the same thing that The Ruins uh, is about. We're not talking about creepy vines, that kind of thing. Um, but with with this one, you're, you're dealing with characters that you may not like, that you end up liking toward the end, and one has an irredeemable sin from the jump, and he st and Lion still manages to uh, manage to bring me in, um, and it's like, okay, this guy isn't too bad. I kind of see where he was coming from, even though what he did was horrible. Now, the very last thing is the dread. Um, the dread kicks off. But, like I said, right off the bat. So, again, the three things, pacing, character development, and the dread. Everything was on point with this one, and I can find no fault whatsoever with it. If I'm going to criticize it at all, I think maybe the character of Josh could have used a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a teeny, tiny bit. Um, but I don't even think that, I don't think that would have affected, I don't think that would have made me love it any more had I got more of Josh. Um, there... There are certain characters in the book that you know exactly what their purpose is, and they go in there, but nobody is the same by the end of the book. Um, 
this this feels like right off the bat that it's going to be your typical slasher. Um, and because it says on the back of it, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there for you. This is a supernatural story. There's it's like, it's like a Stephen King book. You have your human horror and you have your supernatural horror. You have both of those things. Um, so don't I, I don't want to set it up anybody's expectations thinking that they're going in for a legit slasher and then get thrown that curveball. Um, that would be the only spoiler that I'm going to go into is that. Um, but only because it says in this supernatural thriller, it says it on the back. Once again, don't read the description. Um, I am really, really impressed. Uh, I don't know, let's see here. Uh, Matthew Lyons is the author of dozens of short stories with his work appearing in the tw 2018 edition of Best American Horror... Horror... Sh no, sorry. Best American Short Stories, not horror. Edited by Roxane Gay and more. Uh, born and raised in Colorado, he lives with his wife and their cat. So, if I'm reading that correctly, this is his debut novel. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, I, if, if I had read this um, not knowing that it was a debut, I wouldn't have thought it was a debut. I know that's kind of cliche, but uh, he, he brings chops to the, to the, to the plate. Um, it's chops getting important. No, no, okay. Um, but anyways, this, this book is a lot of fun. I really want to express that. Uh, there are some very dark and disturbing scenes, and there is a lot of dread. You don't know who's going to survive. Uh, you don't know who's going to make it. You don't know how if they're going to be intact when they make it out. You don't know if anybody's going to make it out. There's uh, There was two times, and I was like, okay, the, the people that are left are all dead. Lions has a true flair for the, not, not really the dramatic, but for, for uh, I, I want to say, like, metaphor and simile. There's a lot of stuff in here that he, you know, he compares to other things, using other things. Um, and some of them were absolutely brilliant, uh, I thought. Uh, the, so, come for the writing, the pacing, the dread, the character development, all that stuff. But definitely read this one if you want a really fun horror story set in the woods about a group of teenagers. That's where this book shines. It takes this common trope, kind of turns it on its head, um, and there's... I, well, no, I'm not going to say that. I almost gave away the part that I don't want to give away on the back of the book. But anyways, did you get a chance to read, or are you watching this one late and you have already picked it up and read it? Uh, have you read The Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons? If you have, Please let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. This is um, on probably my top five for the horror for horror this year up there with uh, Scott. What's his What's his name? Uh, Scott Carson's The Chill. Um, the, there's There's a couple other ones, but it's easily in my top five for for horror that takes something overdone and does something completely new with it, something engaging with it. Um, but have you read it? Please let me know. Uh, if you loved it, if you hated it, tell me why you loved it. Tell me why you hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!